Holy butt! What are they doing? Hello and welcome back to my channel. It has been such a damn long time, but we're finally here for Blackpink's Pink Venom. Cool ass name for this. I've loved the graphics that they put up. I've seen some of their concept trailers. I didn't really check out any of the teasers like to the actual song and don't want to be, you know, spoiled. I'm expecting kind of the Blackpink comeback fair when they've been away for a while. You're, you're killed this love. You're how you like that. Something bombastic, something powerful and strong, which has kind of been the go to for them. They're their MO. Uh, and then when it comes to the title track, maybe we'll get something because there's a pre-release We'll get something a bit more like um, Lovesick girls, which is more my speed, but I'm still excited for this I gave my piece to how I feel about Blackpink these days in my last reaction ready for love uh, So I'm not gonna spoil this moment because this is this is great. This is great that they're that they're back again They are the group that really got me into k-pop like much much harder and why I even have this channel So let's do it. This is Blackpink with pink venom. We'll give it one roll through. No pauses. I always forget what that instrument is called. I love that chanting. The black pink cult. You wanted rapper Jenny US for this. Dave. Look so good. Haven't missed a beat. I have missed her voice so much. Where are we going? This is a sensual chorus. Oh, this whole sequence. Oh, my God. The Lisa Jenny back to back again. Sorry, I said I wouldn't pause, but this is this is the quintessential structure. This is what the it's it's the pre-chorus rose and then into into and then they switch it up the second time around. Second verse always the Jenny Talisa, but you you don't change what what ain't broke. Don't fix it if it ain't broke. Jenny looks more fierce than she ever has. Jeez, you too. They're styling. Oh my god! These sets are unbelievable! Oh my god. The outfits are wild. I don't know how I feel about Lisa's here, but everybody else's. They said this video was expensive and they were not lying. Pretty empty bridge. Instrumentally. Oh my god. I swear to god their styling is next level in this video. This is exactly, exactly what I was expecting it to be. And I'm not, and I'm not like, 
disappointed in that whatsoever because I think they really did bring it here. I think more so, I know people were very split, right? Right on day release, at least like you go to K-pop Reddit and things like that. Very split on how you like that. And I was conflicted with it at first too. And over time, they came to just really enjoy it a lot, especially listening to it in the gym. And I think that this is kind of going to be in that vein, but I like it a lot more on first listen uh, than I did How You Like That. And I think it will even grow as I listen to it more, you know, while working out, uh, while in some kind of intense run or something like that. And God, visually, it's astounding. They look so damn good in this. Lisa and Jenny giving more attitude than I feel like I've ever seen them give. Even though they haven't exactly been making a ton of music in the last two years, it their improvements are definitely there. Like, you can just see it. It's, it's obvious. Um, and it really has this kind of switch up that they kind of talk about in Pretty Savage, I guess, somewhat, where there's this kind of savagery side, but also this beautiful, like a, like a rose, you know, a thorny rose. Very similar in that vein. Let's go back and pause more, check this out, and kind of digest it in a better way. I'm still unsure about the first part of the chorus. This intro is so sick, though. This whole design, like, they, God, they really just opened up the wallet for this. And the, and the screen that she's on here, it's so sick. Like... Definitely rapping with a very particular, like, tone here. Different than she has in the past, I feel, right? It's tough. This outfit is I'm gonna die. The blue heels. This is supposed to be like Eden. This looks like it's supposed to be Eden, the forbidden fruit from the tree type deal. And they kind of soak they kind of soak into you like like we are the ones that have picked the fruit from the tree as a fan of Blackpink and it just seeps through your body kind of deal and you see that further later on in Rosé's portion this whole thing really reminds me of the sets that we saw when she uh guested on Kingdom with Icon uh, it really does kind of bring those memories back that hair color is so good on her Ah, it's a black! It's pink on the inside! Make no sense. Couldn't get a dollar, but you get it? The black, like the black inky splotches over her skin with the platinum blonde hair. It's such a look. I desperately miss the positivity and just the sweetness of Jisoo. Seeing her her face just it puts a puts a smile on mine. So beautiful, it's brutal. It's that same kind of juxtaposition. This I'm still unsure, but I love where it goes. And I'm a fan of the choreography. A lot of this is bringing me back to like late 90s pop R&B videos, something with just the color palette and also this exoticism that they're playing with in certain points. You've got even the, those big draping curtains that look so cool. A lot of pl uh, play with like the wind, even in their hair towards the end. And then we get into this like 90s hip hop vibe, which is a departure. I think it's the riskiest part of the song, and I like it. Oh my god, Lisa! What the? Look at the smile on her face. She's enjoying the shit out of herself. Look at it, look at it. Oh my I'm sorry, I can't even pay attention to the lyrics. Picturesque. Make this a goddamn poster. Holy shit.
you give the stylus a massive raise for this one. Look at the lighting on her face on the scenes with the dark blue lighting cascading across her. And this, like, she's a demon from, like, the center of Earth. It's like this... Suddenly, there's Nordic mythology going on. And that's always kind of been a Blackpink style and vibe. There's the, there's the tinged regality. Like... You kind of have that with even the cover of like their albums. They have that very ornate, right? It's like a door knocker, that ornate thing on, I think, the Kill This Love album. That's always kind of been a style of theirs. Um, and it's really, really apparent in this video. Wow, look at these sets. Oh my God, they're just styled so well. I love all these looks. I think out of... Man, the pigtails on Jisoo are working. But the Rosé's outfit, probably my favorite. I really like Lisa's top half, the, the pants. I'm a fan of the exotic weird pants, but I think this, they always give her the weirdest shit when it came to like the doo -doo -doo gloves and everything. They always do it to you. Holy butt! What are they doing? This is the best position the Knicks have been in in like 25 years on Jenny's shoulder. There's no continuity in the style of this video at all, and I do not care. You have these shots of what up? Iced out frozen butterfly. Jesse wants the smoke. Very kill this love explosion. Oh my god, that tunnel look. This set even looks like where they filmed a part of how you like that. Mmm. The ending, similar to highlight like that as well. Um, these outfits towards the end, they have so many different changes. Lisa looks like she's a part of a goddamn bomb squad at the end with that kind of high neck piece. Oh, it does hit hard towards the end. Ooh, the body rolls. You know, what I've come to just realize when it comes to these songs and they have to be bombastic when it's been so long and you're coming back, they have to be like this. These are just songs you don't really think about too much. You have a damn good time and they are what they are. Um, when it comes to Blackpink for me, my favorite songs of theirs are the lighter ones actually. Like, Don't Know What To Do, um, As If It's Your Last, Love Sick Girls, uh, Playing With Fire. Like those, those are more my favorites. The bombastic ones are there for their place and are just enjoyable for what they are. And I think that this hits every one of those um, points. And it's a great reintroduction of the group into saying, hey, we're here. We're releasing an album. And then I think that title track will be more in the vein of a lovesick girl. So I do like this. I think visually it's freaking astonishing. They look so amazing. I'd really like to see the full choreography because I think that over the last few years, that's kind of been lacking. Not their ability for choreography. We know Lisa is one of the best out there, but just their choreographer needs to step their game up. And I would really like to see the full version um, when they release that. But the video is sick. Song raises your blood levels, uh, gets you really, really hyped for what is to come from them with this album. So it kind of does its job, I would say. Uh, probably some of my favorite looks that I've ever seen them in with this video. So let me know what you guys thought. I know you are hyped. I may have been somewhat and still a little down on not Blackpink as a group, but just the direction they're being taken in by YG. 
we will see if they release this album and disappear for another two years but i really really hope not and i'm still excited for it and i really do want to see them when they come to the u.s i believe in like november i'm gonna try i'm gonna pay a thousand for those tickets because you know that's what it's gonna cost because you're not getting in oh it's not happening but I'll do my best. Subscribe if you're new. Check out my Patreon for album reactions, live stages, and variety shows. Check out my Black Plank playlist, playlist down below if you want to see some older reactions of theirs that I have done. Thank you so much, and I'll see you in the next video.